Well, I'm here at the Gibby. This is the Gibby, the Center for the Arts, where my quilt exhibit is. And we are in the town of Middletown. It's a cool little town. It's kind of busy today. And there's the Everett Theater, which is also part of the Gibby, or the, the Gibby is part of the Everett Complex. And so let's go look at the window. They put some of the quilts out in the window. And it's a little hard to see. There's a jacket and quilts. Oh, and here I am. Look, see, can you see me back there? There I am. And if you can see her, there's Maria. She's the latest quilt I did. And I actually named her after somebody I know whose name Maria looks just like her. So let's go inside, shall we? Okay, the Gibby. Here we go. Enter. Here we go. And here's the wall. This is the hallway. And I've put a lot of flowers and birds and fish. And then a series I've just done of uh, whole printed cloth. I've taken all these photographs. They're about 36 by 36 and reproduce them and there's a jacket look at that who is that is that the sesame dude he's pretty cool isn't he and we have bracelets and plates the plates are fabric backed and bowl cozy this is maria she's my quilt she's in the window she's uh, six feet by three and behind her there's another quilt, colored. Lemoyne Star, Kaleidoscope, Squares, Spiky Stars, all kind of a cool holly design. Purple Flowers. Disappearing Nine Patch. This one's kind of cool. And my hand sewn uh, mascot. And to the side, here's my Arkansas Traveler and this cool log cabin jacket. Going in the front door of the gallery. Some market totes, a bunch of colors. There's actually a zebra tote bag, it's actually a purse. A little bit of Easter. And those plates are glass and fabric bags. Mm. And a small market tote. This is the other side of the quilts, and these are my pet collar and leash sets. Yep, yeah, you can make a lot of fabric. And I did put a uh, heavyweight binding on it to protect it. It's like a commercial grade webbing. Bowl cozies, who can't use a bowl cozy, huh? And this is my Let It Snow game. And these are my pot holders. They look like old 45 records, if anybody remembers that. And the bowl cozies are some of the pet leashes. Tessellations a la MC Escher.
living in the city. And a bear paw. And a set of three small wall hangings with an organza edging. Okay, we're back in the front. We're going to move down the back. And here's some of the homes we already looked at. And there's my sesame dudes. And obviously, I've looked at these. Aren't they pretty? The fabric back plates and bracelets. It's fiber. It's fiber. And this is from my African trip to Africa. That's my African safari. This fabric, that pillow that I purchased in Kenya. But that it's a wax print batik. Mount Kenya Safari Club floor. That is what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever wanted to know. And then a few more quilts back here. Actually, these are wall hangings. I put them on canvas. And the chevrons. And the Costa Rican white face monkeys. And my African shields. Also from Costa Rica. These beautiful macaws and the birds and a little sunflower. This is a sampler, a couple custom, and this one's real pretty with the flowers and the butterflies. Great for little girls. And could you just see this on a little girl's bed? And then my morning star. I love that one. I like the colors. It's actually easier to do than it looks. So let's swing around and we'll look at the other side, shall we? And some autumn quilts. Now, this quilt is part of the series of all the quilts I designed for my new book called Fast and Easy Quilt Patterns Using the Accu Quilt Go Me. And if you don't have an Accu Quilt, I will give you the cutting directions so you can make every single one of these designs using only two shapes. A half square triangle and a quarter square triangle. Here's my boat maker. He's one of my newer pieces. Really like him. And then down below, it's my chimney sweep in mountains. And here's the Giving Doll Project. We would love donations. We would love volunteers. We especially are in des desperate need of an embroiderer to help us embroider these beautiful faces. Currently, we have one person doing the embroidery. If, on the other hand, you have an embroidery machine you're looking to get rid of, you could donate it as well. Uh, we accept all donations for the Giving Doll. Cash, fabric, your time. You can make clothing. Aren't they wonderful? These dolls are giving to children or seniors who are in need of comfort and may be in rehabilitation or residences or hospitals or care facilities. That's the Giving Doll Project. This is a photograph that I took while in Alhambra, which is where they film parts of the city of Dorne in Game of Thrones. My basilic lizard from Costa Rica. Rock wall. And actually, the rocks are somewhat three-dimensional. You kind of look. You're not really supposed to touch them, but it's my quilt, so we can touch it. Look at that. It's got some dimension. Kind of cool, isn't it? I like it. I do the photographs, and I super sew over them. Um, and then this is arches. I love this one. I like the way the texture looks on the fabric. I think it looks pretty cool. If we struggle with something, we keep on top. Where you came in all day.
probable threat. And then four people. Four? Yeah, because if you decide you put them on the table, so what people will you call? Would somebody? No, I'm talking about if you came in and just did four. Well, how, I'm surprised, 